do you see what they did here? Yeah, yeah. With the yeah. five. So, well, here's the, the thing. Yeah, I, I told I, you. I right? really love this. If you're in Europe, in your uh, maybe not the MacBook, but the iPad. If you're in Europe, you don't get a plug socket. You don't get a plug. <laughs> why I think, it, I think it's a green thing i think it's like a um e-waste thing yeah N not even a cable do i get a cable you get a cable you get a cable okay Are but like gonna... i have a 120 or like 140 watt charger for my macbook uh like i have the m1 pro the 16 version so mm -hmm. it's a it's also a really big charger that I don't bring anywhere with myself, by the way, mm -hmm, because it's mm -hmm. so big and it has one port. Honestly, if they would, if they would, I know it, it's Apple and they, they don't do that, but they, if they would charge me less and not, you know, not include the charger, yeah. I'd be fine because go on Amazon. There are a bunch of like uh, these like newer version, like what's it called? Like they, they, mm. they, they have a technology, the technology. Ga name. Gan Gallium yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. The, the charger are smaller and I have two of them actually. Yeah. Like yeah. around the house, they're smaller and they, they do the job and they have like multiple ports uh, anyway. So M5, uh, all I wanted to say here, <laughs> Like M5 that. was dropped and it feels so wrong. Yeah, I M know. Yeah. And then you've got M3 Ultra. You should, yeah. You've got M3 Ultra in that lineup as uh, the best model. It's like, well, the best yeah. one is M3 Ultra. Yeah. But. And then, yeah. M5, M4 Pro and Max, and then M3 Ultra. Yeah. They, they started really good with these uh, chips. And now it's not that it's bad, but it got confusing and it's, like yeah, I don't know, they, know. they could have That's done right. a better job. I, I, so, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Yeah, you know. me neither. What, what, so actually, just on that, real quick, is like I, so I've got an M4, M1 Pro laptop, M1 inch. Pro or Max Pro. Okay, and I've had that for years and years and years and years, right? And always wondered, like, what doing what we do, doing what as coders do. Like, what was I missing out on, what, you know, for the Max? We tempted to go the Max. As as the M1 computers start to get very old now, I treated myself, I say treat myself, I just bought the best laptop you could have bought, MacBook you could have bought, M1, obviously. And it cost like a grand, something like that, right? Bought it off a guy down the pub. It's very funny. And uh, You um, got it secondhand? Of course, yeah. I only bought it yeah. like a few months ago, right? I would be honest. I know to, doing what we do, right? Coders, designers, vibe coders, not really, not really noticing anything at all. No difference at all. Yeah. So if you are ever ever thinking, do I get the base model, the Pro or the Max? I don't think we will never need the Max. Come yeah. at me in the comments, otherwise. But we do not need the Max at all. It might I be agree. nice, but even in even now, the M1, like I know, I know we we YouTubers have a habit of not thinking about the future. But I we are in the future right now, and I'm using the best of the best. And my M1 Pro is perfectly capable, do, performing the same as as the M1 Max. We we never we never need it. So I definitely think the Pro. I wouldn't go as down. I wouldn't. I, I would. I would hesitate to go down to the base model. Um, I kind of say this in my M1. Uh, sorry, M4 Air video that I made. You would. You could get away with it if you're tight on cash and you know you want something to get the work done. But you would. I think you would inevitably upgrade to a Pro. But never a Max. Never a Max. Yeah, I agree. So I would say if you are a student. And mm -hmm. if you don't do anything heavy with like any heavy software, I wouldn't even call Figma heavy, by the way. Uh, anything really? in the, yeah. I think Figma is sluggish, dude. Yeah, but, but it's essentially, it's just a RAM eater Chrome. W yeah. What is Figma? Figma is just the Chrome app. Mm -hmm. uh, it's based on Chromium and it's, you know, a bunch of like frames that you have. It's all eating your RAM. So I would say if you are a student and if you are a designer and if you are on a budget, don't go for the 13 inch, go for the 15 inch 
and then go for something maybe with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I wouldn't honestly go for 24 gigabytes yeah. because I think this is the point of like diminishing return. But this is the air, it, right? Yeah. Yes, the air. But if you are, if you want to be, to do something more future proof and I have the M1 Pro and I bought this in 2022 and it's still, it, it's still like a, a working horse it does mm. everything i want it to do and if it lags which does sometimes because i open 500 tabs and i have like literally three instances of figma with each having like five plus tabs right so i am like an extremely heavy user with three monitors when it lags all it needs is a restart nothing else and it's fine it's really fine uh, even my battery is dead. My battery has been saying that I should go for a service for over a year. Over, since over a year ago, it's mm. telling me to go and change it. I haven't done it because, you know, it's doing just fine. I've been thinking about this as well just the last couple of days. Like, if you travel, if you move around a lot, go for the 14-inch. Yeah. But if you if you are mostly working from home, you connect to a monitor, like go for this def definitely go for the 16 inch um, yeah well, you, you don't have to but like i think you'll really see the benefit of going smaller if you travel a lot because everyone's everyone i know is back yeah yeah with the 16 inch, like. yeah this is heavy and this is coming by the way from a, a lifelong pc user and i have next like i my setup is i even have a let, let me actually like geek out a bit about this I have this controller. So mm -hmm. this is a switch, a switch for my PC and Mac. So I can, with a press of a button, change I, all my peripherals from Mac to my PC. And I use mm -hmm. both of them. And I've been a PC user for years. And something that really changed the way I work was that this MacBook Pro, the 16, like the, the 16 part makes a big difference, that I can, Unplug it from everything, even from power, even with this like relatively dead battery. And I can reliably get work done, not just do some email and like moving a few pixels here and there. No, like actual work because the trackpad is that good. The keyboard is that good. The multitasking is that good that I can reliably do this. I could not like do that with a windows laptop i could not I, I think this is like the the best computer or like the best tech gadget that i have ever purchased this macbook mm. yeah it's it, it's crazy i don't know how well we're on m1s right i did the maths mm. on you know yearly costs you know or even monthly costs even like it, Four years, I think, is, is a sensible amount of time. I think we're at four years now or five years, right? Our yeah. max cost us something like a few hundred a, a, a year. You know, yeah. when you break it down like that, it's like, holy crap. Like, these are value, quite literally, machines. Yes. The fact, if you think about paying, I think it was something like £30 for me a month. If you think about you can get a computer for £30 a month like a, the, a really good computer for 30 it's just that's crazy like yeah it's almost like they should be worth a lot more but obviously no yeah one yeah so are, you, are you connected to usb-c yes uh and i'm running like one of the monitors through the usb-c yeah because like peripherals. because you've got the 16 inch you probably what is your it's 167 watt power right 140 watt power. Yeah, yeah yeah that's one yeah like you're probably killing your battery running it through USB-C because it's not able to provide enough power that it's consuming. So you, you can only you can only charge a maximum 100 watts through USB-C. So okay. you might consider like, I mean, you're, you're screwed now because your battery needs replacing or whatever, but like it, the, the MagSafe, because it can charge it at the 440 watts. Interesting and, point. Yeah. Yeah. You're like that. I, I used to, where is it? I've got remember remember dongle life, right? I used to yeah. I used to put my power um, into a dongle. I just wanted this really clean setup where I could just have one cable, and so I had a dongle where my power 
my USB C power cable went into that, and then the dongle went into my my computer. That dongle killed the I see. you know it wasn't like a direct throughput and i think i was probably charging it at like 30 watts or something like this because it was just killing it you could never have that amount of yeah but yeah thinking about like it trying to work and charge at the same time whereas macs are really good at like you know holding holding their charge and and not eating the battery or using the battery if you're plugged in so but if you're monitors and things like that are constantly drawing power it's constantly having to charge it back up because it's eating away at the battery yeah you know but anyway yeah um yeah, yeah so that, that's mind. a good point that's a good point but it tell it is telling me that it's fully charged mm -hmm. and the power source is power adapt adapter but um yeah, yeah. you're making a good point uh can't we see like what is the wattage that the USB yeah so if you getting? if you go if you go to the Apple sign at the top left and hold alt. Yeah, you should see one of them change. About should change the system information. Yeah. And then go to oh. power. Oh, I I I, I used to come right here from down. somewhere else. Yeah. Scroll right down. It should see uh it's, it looks like 52. Which one is your look top, up, 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 up. The run right at the top that's oh, indented. Yeah. yeah. See, it says wattage 52. Interesting. Yeah. So mine says 140. Yours is saying 52. Whoa. Yeah. So 50. So on idle, these max use like around 30. So I can very well imagine like going over 52. That means the battery why, has been helping. Why yeah. are you only charging at 52 watts? Because I'm also running it through a dongle because of the. What I oh, just showed you're up doing, with. You're doing the same thing that I, yeah. yeah I was doing. It's killing your it's ki killing your power. Yeah, yeah. Now I see. Okay, okay. Now I see. Your your computer is only charging at fifty two watts. So so guys, if you if you do this, now you can also check this. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Yeah. Good. Point. Anyway, we nerded out for a moment there, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Yeah. So that that's cool. This is part of a larger conversation on my show, Command AI, which we stream live every single week. We discuss the news and all things related to AI in the world of design and web. Catch us next week and join in the banter.